Hi and uh, welcome to a quick overview of the Webinar CLI. So when you create a new Webinar project, uh, which I've just created here, uh, you will get access to the Webinar CLI. Uh, you can access it by doing yarn Webinar. Let's just do version here. Uh, you can also do help to get additional commands. But in essence, like Webany CLI is a really powerful tool. Uh, it allows you to deploy your Webany projects uh, to the AWS cloud. Uh, it also allows you to uh, create and uh, scaffold new APIs, microservices, and many other bits. It's also the tool that you use to manage uh, different environments and deploying your pro project to development, production, local deployment, and so on. Um, Besides that, the CLI plugin uh, can also be extended and uh, you can uh, write new plugins for it and do many other bits. But essentially, it is your starting point uh, when it comes to interacting with your Webinar project. Uh, in this case, uh, for example, I can run uh, Yarn Webinar uh, Deploy. And then I can select my stack. I got the app stack and the API stack, and um, I can then provide it an environment. In this case, um, I can do local. It's going to run the deployment command. And now my project has already been created and deployed, uh, but. Uh, in this case, what the system is doing is just checking have there been any code changes uh, on your local machine that it needs to reflect back onto the AWS cloud. Uh, it, the, the deployment in that case, because I don't have many changes, should finish in just a few seconds. When it comes to expanding the CLI, we do have a tutorial on how to write additional plugins for it. And uh, using these plugins, you can expand the functionality of the CLI, add additional automation steps, and do many other things. Uh, to write a plugin, you would create a folder and just in initialize it as, a, as an empty, uh, as an empty uh, project. So let's do this quickly. I'm just going to initialize it in case I have any dependencies and so on. And uh, in the project, I'm going to just run, I'm going to create a file index.js, which is my entry point for it. Uh, this is pretty much like this plugin system is how all Webinary plugins work, regardless of if those plugins are for the front end, for the back end, uh, API, or even the CLI. It's always the same syntax. You get the type name and then you provide it with a function. Uh, so I'm just going to copy paste this example. And add that. So what this plugin does is just outputs hello and then a, a name as a variable uh, in the terminal, right? So I did that, and to enable the plugin, uh, I need to edit this file which is in the root of my project. And at the very end, I just need to add my plugin, which I'm going to do like so. So I've added my plugin, and now if I run yarn webinar hello test, nice to meet you test. There you go. So, but the point of this is you can then hook into the deployment process, have post deployment hooks, so you can use those things for syncing up S3 files, uh, state files to S3, and many other bits. Uh, it's a pretty powerful tool at the end of the day. Well, this was a quick overview of what you can do with the WebNCLI. I hope you enjoyed this video.